What if the biggest smartphone upgrade of the year is not a new phone, but a software update? What if the real revolution is already in your pocket, waiting for one install button? And what if One UI 8.5 is not just fixing today's problems, but secretly preparing Galaxy phones for the next five years? Today, after using One UI 8.5 for a long time, I want to explain why this update is far more important than most people realize. And before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss daily tech updates. We usually judge updates by how big the feature list is, but One UI 8.5 is different. It's not trying to impress you in five minutes. It's trying to change how your phone feels over months and years. From the very first day, you start noticing small things, the way menus float, the way elements have depth, the way blur and shadows are used more intelligently. The interface doesn't feel flat anymore. It feels layered, modern, and confident, like Samsung finally decided to treat software design as seriously as hardware design. The biggest transformation in One UI 8.5 is not one single feature. It's the personality of the system. Everything feels calmer, cleaner, and more intentional. The settings app is easier to read and less overwhelming. The gallery, my files, and system apps all follow the same visual language. There's a sense of unity now that older versions didn't have. Once you notice this, going back to older One UI versions feels like stepping into a messy room after living in a clean house. One of the smartest things Samsung did is rethink how we use big phones. Important buttons, search bars, and controls are now closer to your thumb. This one change improves comfort more than most people expect. Your hand stretches less, your grip feels more natural, and your phone becomes easier to use without even thinking about it. This is the kind of design that shows maturity, not chasing trends, but solving real problems. Then there's the quick panel, which is no longer just a boring control area. In One UI 8.5, it becomes your personal command center. You can resize toggles, move them, remove them, expand them, and build a layout that actually matches your daily habits. This makes the phone feel less like a product and more like a tool designed specifically for you. In terms of performance, One UI 8.5 doesn't try to be flashy. It tries to be stable, smooth, and reliable. Animations are more consistent, transitions feel more natural, and the system feels more balanced. You may not notice this in the first hour, but after a week, everything just feels right. Nothing feels rushed. Nothing feels broken. This is the kind of polish that separates good software from great software. Now let's talk about the camera, because this is where Samsung is clearly playing a long game. On the surface, not much has changed, and that's intentional. Instead of redesigning everything again, Samsung is strengthening the foundation. Pro mode and pro video are becoming more powerful. Clean preview, better controls, and deeper options show that Samsung is preparing Galaxy phones for serious creators, not just casual users. Galaxy AI is another area where One UI 8.5 quietly becomes more useful and less gimmicky. The new generative editing experience is faster, smarter, and more flexible. You can remove objects, refine photos, and continue editing without starting over. Even better, the system keeps track of your editing history, so you can experiment freely without fear of making mistakes. This turns photo editing into something fun instead of something stressful. Video is also clearly becoming more important. With law video and better color tools, One UI 8.5 feels like a preview of Samsung's future vision for mobile video creation. While it's not fully complete yet, the direction is obvious. Samsung wants Galaxy phones to be tools for creators, not just devices for recording memories. Samsung DeX is another feature that shows how serious Samsung is about the future. With multi-desktop support, DeX now feels more like a real computer environment. You can organize different workspaces, separate tasks, and build actual workflows. It's still not perfect, but it's closer than ever to turning your phone into a real productivity machine. Of course, One UI 8.5 is not flawless. Some good luck modules are still catching up. Some features people are waiting for are still missing. And yes, there are still small bugs, 
especially in beta versions. But these are temporary problems. The foundation that Samsung is building here is not temporary. That's what makes One UI 8.5 special. It doesn't feel like a normal update. It feels like a reset of direction. It feels like Samsung is finally thinking long-term about software, not just year-to-year -year features. So is One UI 8.5 exciting? Not in a loud way. It's exciting in a deeper way, the kind that makes your phone better every single day without you even noticing. And that's the best kind of update. If you're already using One UI 8.5, tell me in the comments what changed for you. And if you're still waiting, trust me, this is one of those updates that makes your phone feel new again. This is Tech Insights, and I'll see you in the next one.